So when you open your software, this is your browser panel. You just use it to navigate your data, be it local or from database or web map services. If I have my data inside my D drive, I have to just drop this, drop the data, and let's drop the word folder. And we have a couple of data about the word. What we can actually do here is that if I select this word administrative boundaries geojson, we can just right click. And from here, you could execute it or you could even export it to a different file like GeoPackage or Shape. So you could just get a new file out of a different file format without opening it in QGIS. Or you could look up your layer properties and manage other things like renaming and deleting. You could also show it in files. Just open it in your file explorer, the directory. Or you could look up your file properties just from here. So now, when you do all this, you see I'm dropping a lot of directories and you could fill up the whole browser panel with just open directories. And if you want to go back in just one click, come over to this tool and hit collapse all. Everything goes back to normal. And remember to use the refresh regularly because sometimes you add up data and for some reason they don't show up, just hit your refresh and everything from your directories will be available. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the filter browser. Sometimes you have a lot of map providers or you have a lot of database services running here and it could be so stressful sometimes to just be going through all of this. You could hit your browser and search for what exactly you need. So maybe I wanted to go to the home. You could just search home and hit project home. Or we could also just set XYZ and it will give us a filtered browser showing only XYZs. Aside that, when you click on the settings tool, you could either check the case sensitive so that whatever you type in will have to match exactly the case of the results you are expecting. Now, the next thing you can do is to use this I2, which is the properties widget. What does it do? If you want to preview it, you just select the layer and hit the properties. Now, this will open up a different widget. What it does is it shows you the metadata of the file. That's interesting. You don't need to open it up before you, you inspect all this. It gives you the metadata and above all, it gives you a preview. This is the special. So you can zoom in or zoom out, out of it. And this is just for you to inspect or just have an idea of what you're going to open. And you can also look at the attributes. That's just the attribute table, actually. So you can have all of the information right here without opening it. 